My name is Pooh. <laughs> this is how I talk. <laughs> I do not, that, dude, that is not how I talk. Thank you. Hey, hey, everybody, this is how I talk. Hey, everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome to When I Rule the World. I have a co host, my co host, Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hi, how you doing? If you'd like to check out her videos, she does Let's Plays, music videos, vlogs. Uh, what am I missing? Um, uh, I, that's everything, really. She does everything, apparently. Um, there'll be a link in the description to her channel and a link in the description to this game. When I rule the world. My name is Selena, and I've been chosen to be the future ruler of the world. Have you now? Yes. I might look like an ordinary schoolgirl to some, but mm. soon every person in every nation will bow to me. <laughs> what? When the agency rise to power, they have chosen me as the one to sit in ultimate command of the New World Order. The Illuminati? I have something she can sit on. Mine will just be a, <laughs> a judge reign and the world's nations... Wait, wait, wait! It's supposed to be just reign. You said judge yeah. reign as if you're going to judge everyone <laughs> instead. <laughs> you're like, no, it's fuck gonna... just. I'm going to judge you all. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to fuck you if you don't shut up. Okay. I mean, wait, wait, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the wars and international disputes with will be shift. <laughs> Fuck. Where's your mind? Hmm? <laughs> no, I'm gonna know. suavely take a drink out of my drink. Mm, well played, me. Well done. Clap, clap. clap. It would have been a lot no, cooler no, if no. I wasn't drinking the straw. You don't get a good straw. clap like that. You yes. get a slow clap. I got the clap. What? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all you get. <laughs> and firmly ended as the agency usher in the golden age of world history. She has a firm end? Why? With me and its throne. With me at its throne. Oh my gosh, I can't read. <laughs> Why did you choose a dyslexic person to help you with this? I'm trying to help you better yourself. You're welcome. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. I look at myself in the mirror. My regal bearing satisfies me. This is Currently... really what she sounds like in real life. If you know her, this is what she's always telling me, this kind of stuff. Sorry, please continue. <laughs> Currently, <laughs> one still has a mentality... Mentality substitute. In... in uh, fuck, I can't think. Imperial? I'm you come sick. from a nation that has was once an empire, and you don't know Imperial? Do you know what? Don't tell me to fuck myself. Yes, go fuck yourself. Okay. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, it sounds so good. Shut so, up. so good. Shut up. Carry on. Is that why my clap, sex clap, CDs clap. didn't sell? There's a picture of me on the front with my mouth open like, oh. All right, where were we? You're reading about imperial robes. In the place of the school uniform. But that will change soon enough. Do you really have imperial robes? I do, actually. I was wearing them earlier. They were great, weren't they? I've seen your tiara before. I practice my wave, a gentle movement of the hand, an acknowledgement of some general political Ah, uh, what? Oh, some general politicians wearing allegiance and oh, I can't. S obese, obesians, obesians. Ob it's obesians. Is that a word? I think it shouldn't it be, it be uh, obedience. Yeah, or maybe it's a word I don't know. Maybe it's about really fat people being loyal. Obesians. Come on, kids, get those Twinkies. <laughs> Next. Oh, you can go with that one, can't no, you? No. Selena, you'll be late for school. I must her under my breath. No, I won't. I'm always in control all the time. She's so fussy. Nevertheless, it wouldn't do to irritate her too much, so I cool down. I'm coming, mother. That's rather personal, isn't it? That is quite personal. Chrono Luminaire presents When I Rule the World! My mother drives me to school. It's faintly embarrassing, but if anyone sees me, I content myself with the knowledge that they will all eventually kneel to my homage to me. She doesn't know that I'm going to rule the world. I've wondered many times what she'll think when she finds out. Silly bitch. I'm pretty sure she'd be proud. She's always hoped that our family would succeed and go up in the world, and since I'm the only child, it's the only one, <laughs> only me that her hopes can rest on. She has no idea how true her wishes will come. I arrive at school for the start of another week, 
of the same old stuff. Mm. These days, I do well at school. I remember the teachers very pleased with the first exam results after I realised that the agency wanted me well educated. They thought they succeeded in their efforts to motivate me. I didn't bother to disillusion them. I make my way to my desk at the edge of the classroom. My classmates move out of the way without meeting my eyes. Poor peasants. I don't have much to talk about with them, and so I don't bother them, and they don't bother me. It's an agreement that works very well for all of us. Naturally, I don't learn everything a new uh, ruler needs here, so, and so I do a lot of reading on my own at home on subjects like politics. And my parents are so, so pleased I study so, so much because now I'm suddenly Asian. But in the meantime, I do have to vaguely pay attention in class to get the homework done, so I prepare myself for another humdrum school day. Hello, class! I was in another Let's Play! I got cast again! I'm proud! This morning I have a special announcement! I vaguely perk up my ears, hoping against hope that our normal, deathly dull form period might be something of interest today. Somebody's been stealing chalk from the languages classroom! This is disruptive to studies, and the perpetrator, when caught, will face several days' detentions. I can't even sleep worrying about this. Anyone with information should? <sighs> After a boringly easy day at school, I leave immediately, as always. As usual. Oh, that looks like my house! <laughs> I stop at the corner shop on my way home and buy the national daily newspaper. Oh, you didn't know I made this game just about you? Yeah! That's actually my house as well. I can't believe, like, you got it in the game. Yeah, Scaring I like to... the hell? Huh? Sorry. No, go on, sir. I had nothing and I just stepped down your line and fucked things up, so please go on. So, oh, scanning the headlines eagerly, I note with disappointment that there's no front page mention of a world politics story. It's probably an American newspaper you're looking at then. Mm. Not just because I'm always on the lookout for events which might herald my rise to power, although that, is that as well. But also because articles with the word world in the headline are how the agency communicate with me for my everyday instructions because now I'm a schizophrenic that yeah. thinks everything is about me. Yeah, I think you're a little insane. A little narcissistic as well. Back in my room, I pour over the newspaper. Nothing obvious so far. Where the fuck is it? It's interesting how that bed is perfectly shaped for that hole there in the wall. I know. Imagine trying to get out of there, like, tripping <laughs> over the desk when you try you to go. You would, too. You better, you, like, if you had, like, a fire alarm or you had a nightmare and you got up quickly, you'd probably hit your head on the wall there and be like, oh, I'm yeah, trapped. Yeah, either way, you're fucked. If you yeah. get one end, you're fucked out the other end. Mmm, sexy, getting fucked out both ends. No, bra. No, bra. No, 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 it says the agency have completed. <laughs> <laughs> I have complete, I'm sorry. Control. So you messed up that line when you were trying to be cocky, okay. <laughs> I'm the Ash National Journalism. And so they hide messages for me in it. It's the safest way for them to communicate without raising suspicion. No letters from the postman or my parents to inquire about. No mysterious, mysterious phone calls. Not having to sneak into the school to leave messages for me there. Because you know the Illuminati is always sneaking into schools to leave messages for school kids. Yeah. You know, I, I'm so good at lying life that one of my socks is pulled all the way up and the other one's all the way down because that's how hipster I am. Well, mm. when you, we're queen of the world, you can make fashion, I guess. I suppose so. Just a subtle concealed note where no would, nobody would look for it. Hmm, maybe something in the seamlessly... <laughs> innocuous. Innocuous article about the world... And no oh my gosh, wow. I'm like tripping over every word here. Yes, the world outlook. Let's go with that. Economic outlook. The usual checks are quite to perform every third, fourth, fifth word, then letter, forward, and in reverse. Nothing out of the ordinary. I find nothing. That's okay, because there's often nothing. Her note is probably like, blurble, blurble, blurble. No message today <laughs> from the letters I randomly took. Sorry. They don't need to communicate with me every day. After all, how insecure a girl would have to be <laughs> to need a daily reassurance. Hardly material for an empress of the world. Okay, I love this game at this moment where she's like, I'm going to be empress of the world and she's needy for the Illuminati. Why haven't they talked to me today? Maybe they don't like me anymore. 
Where are they? Not in the newspaper, not in the letter, one right here, not in there. But they should be sending me something. They always do always hide some cool kind of message in Tuesday's paper, so I'll make sure to get one tomorrow, as I do every Tuesday, because you're not needy, even though you just said you weren't needy. It was you know very the, confusing, dear. You know what the funny thing is? Like, the kids of tomorrow are gonna watch this and be like, what the fuck is a paper? <laughs> Kindle? <laughs> In the meantime, I guess I'll do some homework and then read the rest of the day away, or perhaps allow myself to daydream of elitists. Who's elitist? 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 What the hell? He's got some long, luxurious hair. He's like a VO5 advert. <laughs> I cast my mind back to the streamy days when elitist came to my house once a week to teach me. <laughs> we sure did. And what about teaching? You just made him dreamy, the dreamy Illuminati guy. Mm. Um, not just the history and geography that my parents called him in to teach. Although he certainly succeeded in giving me uh, something interesting to look at. It's in his pants. And the world as it is now and other rulers have done in the past. Is he like, I want to show you something in my pants. And he like unzips his pants and he pulls out a little globe. Or he painted his balls like the earth. I think he did. That's yeah. why she's like, oh, no, oh, so That's a big rocket ship between them. It's not really big. Sorry. But more supremely, <sighs> he taught me of the agency. And that moment last year, I discovered what my 16 years had been lived for and what I would have lived for in the future. Oh, God, I didn't realize she was 16. Now I feel bad about the balls comment. I feel bad about the teacher that's been fucking her. It changed my life completely. To discover the existence of this group, secretly manipulating events in the world history with the aim of urinating. <laughs> uniting. No, I purposely did that. Ah, oh, you ruined it. Under one ruler. And to learn that I was the chosen one. Honey, if you're 16 and your teacher's like, you're the chosen one, he's probably just a creep trying to get into your dress. Look at his creepy glasses. Yeah. He's obviously a pedophile. <laughs> Naturally, I started paying much more attention at school, <laughs> and so my parents would be delighted with. I'm gonna call him L. Wait, do you say that with any people with glasses? Do you go to a store in the mall that sells glasses, and you're like, pedophiles are everywhere? No, no, no. no the most hentais with like. If you're watching, wearing glasses. With pedophiles with those glasses. What? If you're wearing glasses right now, she's calling you a pedophile. I'm sorry, viewers. P pedo, pedo. No. I live no. in America. We know how to pronounce things. There ain't no I'm use sorry, in our words but like I'm a ruler here of England. Okay. But after these two short months, he had to leave for another city. I stretch out my bed daydreaming. Will I ever see him again? My hand slowly moves down my... Wait, this uh, is one of those kind of let's plays, is it? I think you made it into that one. The next oh, day! Dear. Hello, class! Uh, yes. A chorus of bored voices replies to our teacher. I'm so bored. I still. <laughs> that's, that's the chorus. Sorry. I steer myself for another. Still, still, hey, still, myself for another session of wandering thoughts of what I'll do when I rule the world. Today I've got another special announcement for you. Two days in a row. Yes, I'm sure. There's a transfer student joining our class. Do you think it'll be Wayne? Oh my god, it might be Wayne! <laughs> oh wait, I sound I sound too excited about that. Takeshi, come and introduce yourself! Anybody that's getting Japanese names that watches me LP of these things are gonna be like, you butchered them all, Paul. Oh, you're American. A shin stands up from a desk near the front and walks to the front of the classroom. I hadn't even noticed him until now, but he's a new face. Do you wanna join me in a chant? USA! 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 All the viewers join me. Uh, hello everybody, I'm Takeshi Tanaka. I thought your name was Minion for a second. He looks over at our teacher and then he walks back to his desk and sits down. Oh well. So, there's someone else in this group of people I don't care about. No big deal here. But at lunchtime he starts making a nuisance of himself. Hi! Why is he speaking to me? Is him just saying hi that much of a nuisance to you? Hmm, uh, look at his silly hair. It's yeah. not as <laughs> You're saying. It's not as amazing as Elsa. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, but I'm also not a pedo, as you say. You, you, you're, you're Selena, right? The rest of the class has told me to ignore you. Apparently, I'm very good at first impressions. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I ought to let this boy know I'm not interested, or is it worth the bother? Uh, why, why did they say that kind of thing about you? Am I standing on the desk? That seems weird. No, he's floating for on it. <laughs> ah, would you like to ignore him and think of L or talk to him? Hmm. Let's talk to him. Okay. Let's see what he's got to say. I look him in the eyes for the first time and say, Fuck yourself. What do you want? It's such a romantic thing. He looks back unwaveringly and replies, Ah, uh, to get to know you, to find out why everyone ignores you. I'm not that interested in talking to people, so I don't talk to them, and they don't talk to me. It'd be simpler for you if you did the same as them. Uh, but w w w why, why don't you talk to people? I still feel the answer because I'll rule over you all one day, and I sit there in silence. Uh, do you, do you really dislike everyone that much? <sighs> dislike everyone? Hmm. It's unfortunate if my future subjects perceive me as disliking them. That's not a good situation for the Empress of the World to have to face. Perhaps I might have to change the way I deal with these people. Like a, a crown princess taking an interest in her subjects to be. But the difficulty is that they don't know that I'm to be their ruler and Elle told me I shouldn't go telling people. This sounds like an interesting arrangement he's had with her. Uh, yeah, that does sound inappropriate. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> uh, do you hate everyone? Do you hate me? That's not needy, is it? It's not needy. You just met me. But you hate me? I absently answer. No, no, I, I, I don't. How should I treat these ordinary common people? How involved should I get with them? Then, 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 then why? What? Why do you ignore everybody if you don't hate them? Um, I... How do I answer that? The guy is looking at me like he's genuinely interested. He is genuinely interested. <laughs> Someone can't pronounce their words. I... Uh, he appears to give up. Oh, uh, never mind. I, I grew bored of that. Perhaps it's something that you should give some thought to, though, you know? Uh, I'll talk to you later. See ya. Confused, I sit there as he walks away. Goodbye. Check out my booty. Bye. Bye. Booty, booty, booty. All right, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. Next time we will continue with When I Rule the World. Goodbye. Bye.